Hi everyone! A very easy and straightforward way to optimize your shipping process is by taking advantage of pick lists and packing lists. We developed the app Pickup to give you the possibility to use these techniques within your Shopify backend. Let's see how the main workflow looks like and if it fits your business. You can find Pickup in the Shopify App Store and add to your Shopify shop. After that, it's really easy to use. You go to the Shopify Orders tab. You can select all orders that you want to add to a pick list. Go to Add to Pick List and then you can choose if you want to add the orders to an existing pick list or create a new one. There's another way to add orders to a pick list. Let's see. Within the app, there's an Orders tab. And here you have much more possibilities to filter through orders than the Shopify orders of a, uh, overview gives you. And here you can select also up to 1000 orders to add uh, these to an existing pick list or create a new one. Let's create a new one. The pick list is grouped by the products. Here you see for all the 166 orders, we have the first product of a quantity of 249 pieces. And then you can go to the packing list and the packing list is grouped by the order. So if you picked all your products, then you start with packing and then you need the list grouped by orders. And what does the app offers you also? The app offers you to download the pick list as a PDF, also the packing list as a PDF. And if you want to share your pick list with someone else, you can go to show pick list and you can share the pick list. And then the link will be sent via an email or you can copy and paste the link and share it by self. But the most advantage of this link is that the person who received the link, he doesn't need access to your Shopify admin area. I show you when I copy the link to my clipboard and I open a private tab, I can open the, the link and you see the Shopify, Shopify frame, the Shopify admin is away. And so somebody without access to your Shopify backend can work with the pick list and also download the pick list and the packing list as PDFs. And if you don't want to share it manually, each time when you create a pick list, you can set up an automation. For this, we go to the settings tab and we scroll down to pick list and here you can enter an email address and every time when you create a new pick list, the pick list, the link to the pick list will be shared to this email address. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the settings that the app offers you. You can set up how much orders in the orders overview should be listed each page. Also for a maximum of the orders that you want to add as an, in the bulk process to create a pick list. And then you can set up some pre-filterings. You can give the app access to orders that are older than 60 days. What you also can do is you can customize the columns of the pick list. This is also reflected in the PDFs. You can set the order of the pick list. If it's ordered by the quantity or the SKU or the product name, storage place. Same for the pack list. Then you can customize the document. You can say which language should be on the PDF documents. The orientation of the PDF documents, its landscape or portrait. You can upload a logo to print your pick list from the store it is, uh, it is created from. And then you have some other settings like the language of the app interface, not that important. And we have an integration with the Bundles app. It's also a really popular app in the Shopify app store um, to take care that the pick list is also trying to extract the bundles in the products that are inside in the bundle. This is about all the settings that you can do in the app. At last, I want to show you the dashboard of the app where you can see all the pick lists that you have been created. And what you can do also from dashboard, you can go to edit storage places if you want to add 
the storage places of your products. And here you can edit it in the UI. But what you also can do is you can manage your storage places within an Excel document. And what the app for you offers is to download a template. This template will include all your products that you have in the Shopify store. And it's really easy for you to manage the storage places in this file. And you can then you can upload the file to the app and the app will display it in the pick list. As you can see here in the column storage place. If you don't want to see the progress of a pick list, then you can go to the settings and you can disable the buttons. If you disable the buttons, the dashboard will look a little bit different. You will just see the number of products and the number of orders. And if you go to the pick list in detail, here it's also, um, there's also no button for mark the product as picked if you disable this column. We are still working on the app. If you have any idea or feature requests, please send us an email. We will appreciate to talk about with you. We wish you all the best and have a great business. Have a good time. Your 24-7 apps team. Bye bye.